Hey guys, in this series of videos we'll start by looking at electrical potential, then we'll look at equipotentials, potential gradients, and we'll learn about radial fields and uniform fields, and we'll finish with an exam style question. So let's start by looking at electric potential. So we know that a charged particle in an electric field experiences a force. Uh, that's what we were looking at in our previous set of vi uh, videos. We actually learned what the, the force law was, Coulomb's law. Uh, but we see how we diagram that with force, uh, di with, sorry, with these, these field lines as well. The idea that these arrows show the direction that a positive test charge would follow in this field. So for this negative charge, they're towards the negative charge because a positive charge would be attracted towards this, this, negative, this negative charge and would move towards it. And we see the same thing here for this more complicated force diagram, this dipole, the idea being that, uh, you know, on this side, it's repelled by a positive charge, and when we move this way, this is a positive charge again, here it would be attracted towards it, uh, and and we have this kind of kind of more complicated field pattern, but still, the idea that the, the great thing about these these uh, field lines, these, these field diagrams, is that they show us uh, very simply uh, what would happen if we put charges into this, this field, in, in a way that a bit more... Uh, apparent than if we simply just had a bunch of equations for forces. So these are really helpful. So uh, knowing this though, knowing that a force, you know, a charge in a, in a electric field experience is a force, we know that if you have to move things against a force, you, you do work on them, or equivalently, if, if they are moved due to a force, they are, have work done on them. And this means that it takes work to move a charged object from one position in an electric field to another. You have to do work against the electric field to push. So for instance, if we had a positive charge here, and we wanted to move it out to here, we'd have to do work against this electric field. It wants to pull us closer to it, and we're having to push it further away. Therefore, we're doing work on it to move it away from the, uh, move it away from the negative particle. And the same here. So what that means is that charged objects will have different electric potential energies at different points in the electric field. Now, uh, the thing is, I don't want to spend too long going into all of this in, in great detail again, because we've basically done exactly this, but for gravitational fields. If you pretended this was instead a planet uh, and had the uh, had the positive charge here being, uh, you know, some sort of mass or being a rocket or whatever, we've done all of that. The idea that you gain potential energy as you're pushed away from it. Really, all you need to do is replace gravity with uh, the electric force, electrostatic force, and mass with charge, and you get the same thing. There are a few uh, a few uh, nuances which we're gonna we're gonna point out as we go through. The idea is, you know, here we've got um, we've got negative charges. For instance, a negative charge would be repelled by this and be pushed away. We never had negative gravity, so we will have to bear in mind a few things. But a lot of the terminology is exactly the same. So for gravitational potential energy, now we've got electric potential energy, exactly the same thing just for charges instead of for masses. And again, just as we did for a gravitational field, what we say is that basically every um, every charge in an electric field has a potential energy associated with it. Uh, just uh, And what we say is, how do we find that? What we say that potential energy is zero at infinity for any field. Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level physics videos, just click the snap revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make A-level physics a walk in the park.